video I'm going to be giving you my ultimate guide to linen fabrics for dressmaking and in my online shop and my real shop which you can see is behind me here just now Guthrie and Ghani we sell lots of different linen fabrics and linen mix fabrics as well it's a really lovely fabric to sew with at this time of year coming into summertime here in the UK and in the shop we do have lots of different types of linen fabrics that are all a little bit different so this video will explain to you what the different types are what they're good for and how you can sort of distinguish between them and make sure that you're picking the right type of linen fabric for the dressmaking project that you have planned so all of the fabrics that I mentioned in the video at the moment are available in my online shop which I will link to in the description of this video and depending on when you're watching it some of them might show as out of stock or that they're not available at the moment do please email us on info at guthrie-gani.co.uk if you see anything online that is not in stock we get deliveries all the time and at this time of year our general stock of linen products that we have and fabrics that we have are things that are always usually on order so we can let you know when something is available again. So you can check out the blog post that goes along with this video and I will link to that in the description of the video as well and that sort of summarises the different categories of linen fabrics that I'm talking about if you prefer to sort of read about it as well in that kind of format and it also links to all of the different fabrics and specific pattern suggestions as well. So do check that out if you're looking for links on where to source the fabrics and the patterns that I'm going to be talking about. So first of all let's cover what what linen actually is and what it's made from. It is a sustainable fiber and it is derived from the flax plant and it's very breathable, it's high wicking, it's really cool and comfortable to wear so it's perfect for this time of year. It is characterized by having what often gets referred to as a slubbed texture or like a kind of slubby texture and really that's to do with the specific threads that have woven the fabric being a little bit irregular in their thickness so it means that the the final finished sort of surface or texture of the fabric is like a little bit sort of inconsistent in places and it might be raised in some places as well and they get referred to as slubs and this is very characteristic of linen it's what it's what gives it it's real unique and natural feel to it and yeah it's just a really lovely characteristic of this type of fabric so any fabric that whether it's 100% linen or it's a linen mixed with other types of fibers like cotton and viscose which I'll come to later in the video they generally tend to have that sort of slubby texture to them. It is well known that linen does crease a lot more than maybe some other certain types of fabric and really that characteristic of linen and the fact that it does crease is something to be embraced as part of the look and feel of the garment that you make out of linen. There's not really anything that you can do to stop it. If you get linen that is mixed with other fibres then it can crease a little bit less than 100% linen but really it is something that you just have to yeah embrace as a, as the uniqueness of the garment that you're making if you want to make garments that don't crease at all then you have to go down the more synthetic route of fibers which don't offer the same sort of breathability and wicking and um, comfort that natural fibers like linen can offer you so now I'm going to cover the different types of linen fabrics that we have in the shop and I'll start with the 100% linen fabrics. So we have a range of enzyme washed linen fabrics which means that um, the fabrics come sort of pre-treated or processed with enzymes which is said to be a less environmentally harsh way of sort of just softening up the fabric a little bit and yeah just giving it a really lovely finish on it. So this fabric as I said before it does have that classic slubbed linen texture it's more of a medium weight fabric and it's heavier than our lighter weight linen fabrics which I'll show you next but it is lighter in weight than the Rami's so it sort of sits between the heavy so we've got the Rami which is the heaviest weight and then we've got the 100% linen enzyme washed one which sits in the middle and then you've got your light weight 100% linens after that. It is a really versatile fabric and you can make lots of different things with it. 
So you can make trousers, you can make jumpsuits, you can make overalls or dungarees, you can make skirts with it, pinafers, lightweight summer jackets or blazers. You could use it for tops and dresses as well if you wanted to or shirts, but because it is a little bit thicker and it holds its structure a little bit more, it will just make certain types of garment maybe just feel a little bit more boxy. But for things like trousers and overalls and skirts and that sort of thing, it, it holds its shape really well and it is good for that. So for example, I have used this fabric to make the Helen's Closet Yanta dungarees overalls. I've also used it to make the True Bias Lander pants as well. And we've got members of staff in the shop that have used it to make the True Bias Emerson trousers. You could make the Megan Nielsen flints with it as well. So that's just a few examples of the different types and styles of garments that you can make. But it is just a really lovely, versatile, kind of classic linen and the fact that it's enzyme wash just makes it a little bit softer as well. So then on to our lighter weight linen fabrics which we don't have a, as big a selection of but we do have some and I wanted to highlight them as being different because it might be also that you are you maybe have some linen fabric at home already and you aren't quite sure what to do with it or what it would be best suited for or it might be that you've got linen fabric from another website so uh, hopefully by giving you the context of the different types of linens we've got it helps you just to sort of work out the range of different things that there are and what you can do with them so this lightweight linen does still have a, a bit of that slub texture that the enzyme washed one does i would say not to the same extent and really to me it looks like the threads that have woven this fabric are finer and thinner than the threads that have woven the enzyme wash linen fabric so it does just sort of feel like a little bit more kind of billowy or breezy or lighter weight i wouldn't say it sort of swishes and drapes like you know a viscose or a rayon would but it definitely is just a little bit more sort of floaty it is a little bit more transparent because it's finer so i would say that this lightweight 100 linen fabric is best suited really to tops and blouses you could make a dress in it it would depend on the style of that dress if it was a dress that had lots of gathers in the skirt section for example then it might feel like you you might feel like you don't need to line it but if it was like a sort of straighter style dress you might just feel like you want more coverage on your bottom half by lining it and you could even just line it with a simple cotton voile fabric which we do have available in the shop as well so yeah as i said we've not got as big a selection in lightweight linen fabric but we do have a few colorways and it's just a really lovely option if you are still looking for 100 percent linen but you want something that is just that little bit lighter weight so that is the lightweight linen fabric the next one i want to talk to you about is the rami fabric so regular customers of G&G &G might have come across this fabric before on our website or heard me sort of talk about it or if you watch my Instagram lives on Sunday evenings you might have heard me talk about it then. It's a super popular fabric that we have been stocking in lots of different colours for a while now and it's really really versatile so the difference with Rami is that it comes from a different plant so it's actually the stalks of nettle that it's derived from um, which also gets called Chinese grass and it so it, it does derive from like natural raw materials and it's but it's just a little bit different from linen in its sort of thickness and its finish and yeah sort of its its overall kind of final appearance and how thick it is as well so the texture on the surface of this fabric I would say it is slubbed and I would also say that it's probably more sort of raised and generally textured than the enzyme wash linen fabric so really it, it just overall has more sort of kind of character to it and yeah like a little bit of I wouldn't say roughness is the right word texture really is the right word it is thicker and heavier it's it's completely opaque so you don't need to line it and i would say it is definitely best suited to bottom weight garments like trousers shorts skirts 
overalls, dungarees, lightweight jackets and blazers again would be suitable for this type of fabric because it does just hold its shape more so if I hold some out here then you'll kind of get an idea of that like if I hold you know if I'm holding it out here you can see that it's just it is standing upright you know it's not sort of like kind of flopping in the middle and um, it's just holding its shape a little bit more. If you did use it to make tops and dresses it might just feel like a little bit heavier and again give the garment more of a sort of boxy structured feel so it just depends on what sort of look you're going for really but it is very breathable it's a very strong fabric even when it's wet it's very strong it's very durable and it also has antibacterial and anti-mold properties as well so yeah nice hygienic fabric to be wearing as well and it comes in a really lovely selection of different colorways too so another really good one if you're looking for a plain range of fabrics just to build up some handmade garments so now we're going to go on to the linen mix fabrics so these are all fabrics that have linen within them and those linen fibers are mixed with other fibers which gives the fabric different types of properties so the first one that I'm going to talk about is our Serona linen. So there's quite a few different fibres that are included in our Serona linen fabric and I'm going to read them from my notes because it's various different percentages and I can't remember them off the top of my head. So the composition is 45% linen, so that's the highest of any single fibre. It's got 22% viscose, 18% of the Serona fibre and then it's got 15% cotton in it as well. So overall all natural derived fibres that are in it and just a mix of various different ones to give it some really unique properties. So if you haven't heard of Serona before, I have put a link to the Serona website in the blog post that goes with this video where you can read a lot more about it. But essentially it is derived from raw plant-based material and it is said to be produced in a more environmentally friend friendly way. It's very breathable and it also adds a little bit of stretch and elasticity to a fabric without the need to add spandex or elastane or anything like that. So it does mean that this fabric has got a little bit of gift and a little bit of stretch in it, even though it is still a woven fabric. It's also more resistant to creases. It's fast drying, it is breathable, and it is UV and chlorine resistant as well. It feels really soft, and I would say when you look closely, it does still have like a natural sort of texture to it, but it's definitely definitely less slubbed than the Rami fabric and the enzyme washed linen fabric as well. But yeah, it feels really lovely and soft because it's got the viscose in it. It does also have a bit more drape and yeah, it just kind of moves around a little bit more. Um, I would say that it is opaque and doesn't need lined. It's really, really versatile. And I have personally used this fabric to make some Merchant and Mills Eve trousers. So you can use it to make trousers, you can make skirts with it, jumpsuits, tops, skirts, blouses lots and lots of things it's a really versatile fabric it feels really lovely and soft and it, yeah it also comes in a really lovely color range of different plain fabrics as well so something a little bit different still in the linen vein of things but the addition of those other fibers just give the fabric some different properties and specifically with this one the Serona's giving it that little bit of give and that little bit of stretch which just means extra comfort really especially when you're making something like a pair of trousers out of it. So the next one that I'm going to talk to you about is a linen and viscose mix fabric. Now the range that we stock, the viscose linen mix range that we stock in the shop, um, comes in loads and loads of really lovely colours. There is literally a colour for everyone I'm sure. It's a beautiful fabric and the specific com combination of fibres in this one is that it's got 75% viscose and 25% linen. Now you can get linen and viscose mixed in varying different percentages in different fabrics. So it's not like linen viscose fabric would always be 
such high viscose as what this specific one's got and the more viscose that it's got in it the more drapey it's going to be the more fluid it's going to be it'll feel lighter weight it'll just move around a lot more and just generally be more floppy the more linen that it's got in it the more structure and body and shape that it will hold in the fabric but because this one does have such a high content of viscose in it, it does mean that it's super floppy and drapey. Um, it is also opaque as well, so it wouldn't need lined. So again, it makes it super, super versatile for so many different types of fabrics. And when I hold this one up, you can see the swish and the movability that it's got. It just, just drapes absolutely beautifully. So you could make tops out of this, you could make dresses, jumpsuits, you can make lovely wide leg trousers with an elasticated waist, say. Um, anything with gathers in it would also work really well. I think it would gather lovely and it would swish about in the gathers too. So yeah, it's just a really lovely, versatile fabric that is that is still linen in it. It's still got that lovely natural texture and that slubness of linen, but because it's got such a high content of viscose in it as well, then it has those other properties of just being lighter weight and much more swishy. Um, we do So a range of planes in that, but we do also have some viscose linen fabrics um, that are prints and that are stripes as well so this one here for example and um, it is 51% linen and 49% viscose and it's a really lovely textured fabric you can see the difference here in terms of the structure and shape that it holds because it's got less viscose in it it's not quite as fluid fluid and drapey as the 75% viscose linen fabric um, but it still still does have a bit of floppiness to it it still feels really soft and yeah it's still another really gorgeous fabric so depending on that sort of percentage split of linen viscose then just be aware that the properties of the fabric will change so next up we have got cotton and linen mixed together now quite often you will see this combination in fabrics that are chambray fabrics and chambray fabrics are when the threads that have woven the fabric are two different colors of thread so take this lovely one here for example this lovely light blue one so when you look close up at it you can see it's almost two-toned or almost as if it has like a marled effect to it so it's a little bit blue it's a little bit white and when you actually look at the threads that have woven it you can see that the weft threads are blue and the warp threads are white so it does just give this two-tone appearance because it's woven from two different colors of thread so with cotton linen fabrics they can vary quite a lot in how heavy or how thick they are so this specific one which does come in two colorways so we've got that light blue and then we've also got this lovely red colorway here as well um, compared to this one here which is also a cotton linen and um, it's 55 percent linen and 45 percent cotton and it's got a lovely stripe woven in it as well this particular one is just a little bit thicker i would say than this one and that will just sort of vary from fabric to fabric i from experience and looking at different ones i wouldn't say it's necessarily di directly linked to the percentage mix because cotton can vary so much in its thickness you know you can get cotton lawn right up to cotton twill which is very heavy and they are obviously both cotton but they're very different so depending on the actual cotton fiber itself that's been used and combined with the linen will obviously give you a different outcome in the fabric so there's not necessarily as, as much of a sort of hard and fast rule as to how thick or how sturdy or how heavy or lightweight a cotton linen mix will be. It does just vary. And if you have something specific in mind and you want to use a cotton linen for it, I would recommend that you use our swatch service that we offer as well, um, where we can just send you like a little cutting of the fabric if you want to feel it before you buy it. Um, and we do also sell in 10 centimeter denominations as well on the website. And the smallest that you can buy is 10 centimeters. So if you want a larger section of fabric to test how it feels and maybe how it's going to drape then you can just order te a 10 centimeter strip of fabric as well so that's another option for you there but yeah we do have quite a few different cotton and linen fabrics available some are plain some are stripey some have got that sort of chambray effect to them where the threads are just woven in different colors 
and I would say that they, they again are really versatile fabrics. You can make tops, blouses, shirts out of them, dresses. I would say if you were making a jumpsuit, it'd maybe feel like quite lightweight. Um, certainly the ones that I've got here would maybe feel a bit lighter weight. This particular one's a little bit heavier. This would be okay, but it would feel quite summery, a summery version of a jumpsuit or like sort of overalls. Um, you could gather them as well. The gather, if you gathered a cotton linen like this one here, uh, sorry, yeah, if, <laughs> let me start again. If you gathered a cotton linen fabric, it would gather really nicely, but it will just hold a sort of puffiness a little bit more or a fullness. Whereas gathered viscose linen, where it's got a really high percentage of viscose, will just sort of hang and drape and swish around a little bit more. So it's just getting used to the, this, the sort of properties that the fabric has and then trying to imagine then what that will look like in your finished garment. So I hope that has helped to kind of clear up and summarize all of the different types of linen fabric that you can get not just in my online shop but anywhere where you might look at linen or want to buy some or maybe you've got some in your stash and you're thinking what should I actually do with this linen or you know what what is actually the fiber composition on it if you just sort of swish it around and have a feel of it you'll probably be able to work out if it's got any viscose in it if it's swishy or if it is more structured it's maybe more likely to be a cotton linen mix or 100% linen so remember the blog post that does go with this video links to all of the fabrics that we have available in my online shop and and spe specific pattern suggestions that go with them as well. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.